Hi everyone, my name is Bill Stockton. I'm the high school science teacher in Arley, Montana. And I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about some tips and tricks that you can use with using Inspired Classroom Challenges. Um, currently, the IC Challenges do a really good job of allowing your students to work on problem solving and match with the science and engineering practices that are now required in the new Montana State Science Standards and that align with the NGSS. A um, couple different things that you can do with your students with these challenges is it allows you to first analyze and look at real data that provided by scientists in the field. Um, oftentimes that data is hard to get your hands on and these challenges give you ample amounts of data. And with that data, your students are really allowed to dive in and create their own um, graphs and tables and get an opportunity to um, really figure out what the data is showing them. Another big component that the challenges allow is for your students to work in groups. Um, oftentimes, you know, teachers are doing group work, but the quality of the group work um, that you get when doing an IC challenge is much higher because it allows for different students to have voices. And then obviously there's no one correct answer. And so you're going to get lots of different opinions from those students. So I find that that usually is a, a really good way to get in, in your students to talk about the different uh, different aspects uh, of the challenge and, and really get their voice heard within their group setting. A um, couple other things that the IC challenges really provide um, besides the data analysis portion um, are an opportunity for your students to really think about scientific writing and argumentation. Because there's no one right answer, they're, they're kind of forced to come up with their own ideas. Um, and then really support that idea with the data that they had and, and try to provide a good argument for why their, their answer is, is correct. And so, you know, using IC Challenge in the classroom really flow with the things that we're already doing in the classroom and that the state of Montana really wants us to focus on. And overall, it allows our students to become better scientists. Yeah, often in our classrooms, uh, teachers expect, uh, our students expect the teachers to be um, the professional and the IC challenges really give an opportunity for our students to reach out to professional scientists in the field. They're able to ask live questions to the scientists. Um, they get feedback from the actual scientists and I think that's a pretty valuable component uh, to the IC challenge and it oftentimes takes the stress off of the teacher from having to be the expert.